Hi and welcome. My name is Elizabeth Silver. Um, this is the meeting of the Northampton Zoning Board of Appeals. It's uh, Thursday, July 27. And um, customarily when we start these meetings, we have a public uh, comment period. So if there's anybody that's present today who's not involved with our hearing this afternoon that wanted to make any public comment, please let me know. Okay, not hearing anything. We'll move on to our first uh, and only hearing today. Um, we have- Elizabeth? Yes. Elizabeth, could you introduce us? I was going to once we opened the, the oh, hearing, this particular thank hearing. You, I'm sorry. But yeah. no, no, it's totally fine. I might as well do that now since you've gotten us going. Um, yes, so I'm Elizabeth Silver. I'm here with Maureen Scanlon and our very newest member of the Zoning Board of Appeals, Sherry Taylor. So welcome to Sherry. And um, I'm here with Nathan Chung, who's the staff um, liaison for the city of Northampton. And the other folks that are here will introduce yourselves as we move forward into the hearing, if that's all right. Um, so this is the, our only hearing today is a special permit by, by the Valley CDC to install an eight inch tall fence at 23 Laurel Street in Northampton, map ID 38A-049. And this hearing was um, uh, publicized on July 7th and July 20th. Um, we are here on a special permit, which requires a, uh, a special a vote of uh, supermajority of three members. We have a quorum of our group, just barely. Um, so the the standard for us on the board, um, I'm, I'm sure the Valley CDC is quite familiar with this, is that we must find that the installation of the fence taller than the required maximum of 6.5 feet is not substantially more detrimental to the neighborhood. So um, Ms. Baker, are you here on behalf of the CDC? I am, thank oh, you. Great, well, welcome. And thank you. I think you can assume we've read your the documents. Um, right. But if you wanted to summarize, <laughs> sure. Um, sure. you know what you have to present for us, we'd appreciate it. Okay. Uh, excuse me, uh, Elizabeth. Um, yes. I think it's a formality. Forgive me if I missed it, but did you formally open the hearing portion with the members all voting yes? Um, I didn't realize we needed a vote to open the hearing. Oh, okay. Do we? Um, I think it's. Previous boards, I did. Um, okay. All right. Well, then let's formally open. Okay. Uh, by roll call oh, yeah. vote, uh, Silver. Yes. Uh, Scanlon. Yes. Taylor. Yes. Thank you. Okay. All right. Can't be too sure about these things, right? <laughs> All right. Um, so yes, Ms. Baker. Thank I'll you. Turn it over to you. Thank you. I know you meant to say eight foot fence, not eight inches, but I'll just throw that Did in I say there. That? Oh my goodness. Well, that would be, you know, for tiny eight inch fence but... wouldn't do us much good, but we'd save some money. Um, so we are here um, because Valley has already permitted through the planning board in a 40 yard district, um, a cluster of townhouses that will be developed as affordable rental housing. Um, and one of our abutters, immediate neighbors, who's also here with me tonight, uh, Felix, um, has requested that we put um, an eight foot privacy fence between the development that we are creating and his neighboring yard. Um, and so because we're two amenable neighbors, both wanting the same thing, uh, we think it's it's pretty straightforward. Um, when I went through the questions in the permit application, many of them didn't apply. There's no traffic impacts or things like that associated with this fence. It's just simply a taller fence. Um, I believe uh, Nathan shared a couple of photographs of um, it would be a cedar board fence uh, of a similar style to the photographs that we shared. Um, if the board sees fit to um, give us the special permit, we would ask for the flexibility to um, choose a style and color uh, of fence sometime down the road in conjunction with our neighbor, um, just because we can't always get exactly the same thing when it comes time to build. Um, so I'll just, I'll just make that pitch. 
Um, otherwise, again, we're here really um, at the request of our immediate neighbor. Um, the properties on Laurel Street tend to be single family or small multis. Um, and so we are building at a density that's greater than the surrounding homes. And I think the neighbor's just looking for a little bit of visual and especially auditory um, privacy. Um, would you mind if I ask uh, Felix to just not at all. say a few words? Nope, not at all. It'll be great. Why he'd like to have the fence? Um, thank you very much for taking your time for listening to me and um, attending to my request. Um, a couple of things. I, I will be short. Uh, my wife cannot be with me. She's traveling today. Um, our, our house is a single house. It's, uh, by the way, it's Laurel Street 21, not 23, 21, but it's a minor thing. Um, we immediately will be next to the uh, proposed uh, development. And um, we just want a little bit more privacy. That's one thing because, you know, tall people can look over, you know, playing people playing ball. It could jump uh, higher chances that something end up in our uh, territory. Then uh, I'm a musician. I, um, you know, noise abatement means a lot for me. And of course, I dread uh, next couple of years when they'll be built because uh, my work schedule, for example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I teach at Emirates College and I finish at 9 p.m. And then I go home and have my dinner at 10 p.m. Uh, they will start at 7 usually. And uh, I mean, I'll just have no. So, I mean, it won't be a huge difference, but a little bit different uh, how the sound wave hits from construction first and then hopefully um, the development will just when it's will be leaving a breathing thing uh, to us. And um, another, con um, not concern, but um, if you could imagine why it's not detrimental to the public, to the view that we are talking about um, a fence which is completely at 90 degree. It's not along the street. So all we see is just one stick which goes inside the property. Uh, so we're not talking about a, a fence which covers part of the street or side of the street. It's only separation line inside our property, which will be uh, coming to the end of the property, to the pedestrian walkway. So I would just simply very much appreciate if you agree on that a little bit high, higher level of fence, which would give me a little bit less noise, a little bit more privacy and peace of mind. Um, That's would, pretty much it. I would add that we're stepping the fence back from the property line as the city would like so that we have good um, clearances for drivers who are entering. This is a one-way loop driveway on our property, which is number 23. People will be entering close to Felix's property. So we don't see the tall fences having any kind of safety issue because you won't be exiting from that direction and it will be set back so that you can see pedestrians who might be coming along the sidewalk. And as I as I'm looking at the property, um, Mr. Margolin, you're to the right, correct? Okay. Right, right. If you're facing. Be, yeah. mm -hmm, it's the first house on the right. Okay, and then there'll be the fence and then the driveway. Exactly. Yeah, from your perspective, yeah, yes, right. yeah. Okay. Um, does anyone on the board have questions? Well, I'm um. I'm uh, thank you for all that. Um, thank you, Laura. Thank you for the neighbor. Uh, Laura, you mentioned, and I just didn't get it. I just missed it. Like where the fence is being placed in relation to the property line. I believe it's a 10 foot setback. Just let me quickly pull up my site plan. Which line yeah. are you talking about, Maureen? Are you talking about the front or are you talking about the side? Are you asking? I'm talking about parallel to where the fence will go, where it, where that is in relation to the property line between the, the uh, Valley Community Developments parcel and the, the abutting neighbor. 
you're not just, from the street. You're just looking for assurances, clearance between the fence and the property line. Well, also yeah. in relation to where you are supposed to be able to put a fence, it like right. because it should not so, be right on the property line. Right. Yeah, it's it's set back ten feet from the Laurel Street roadway. And where is it set back from our your abutters property line? Oh, I see what you're asking. Um, that's, I'm sorry, I wasn't. Clear. That's okay. That's um, yeah, typically it's only if maybe six inches onto our property side. We're trying to get it as close to the property line without running the risk of mistakenly, you know, encroaching on someone else's property. So Nathan, I have and it's just a question to you. I mean, is there are there zoning laws that tell you where you can or can't place a fence? I, I had thought it needed to be X number of feet. There is a uh, property um, from the property line. There is uh, some regulations about fences in general in the zoning. Uh it's right right before the eight inch eight feet special permit requirement. Um it's it's primarily on the it's primarily on uh, the location of the fence in relationship to the front lot line. So um within um, it, within five feet of the front lot line, uh you cannot have a structure that's taller than three feet. So yeah, the eight inch, uh, the eight feet fence. If it's permitted, um, at least uh, it can't be uh the first um, it cannot be taller than three three feet, uh, within five feet of the property line of the front front property lot line. There isn't a really a, a specific zoning ordinance about so the side um, side placement. So um, as long oh, okay. as yeah, my misinformation. I thought there was a uh some sort of zoning code on how close to you how close to your property line in ad adjacent to an abutter that you can place a fence so i think maybe you might have been thinking about our more recent hearing where i think there was some question about whether the fence was actually on the property line as well as as opposed to right inside the property line but that I think could be elizabeth here yeah. is inside the property line so i don't think that's an issue on the side as Nathan said, but thank you. Um, any other questions? Do we want to close the public hearing and? <laughs> um, and just just to remind you, if you if the board if if it pleases the board, you know I can share the screenshots of the relevant materials or not. Up to you. I've I've seen them, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, and. Um, I was just going to say, I can't remember what I was going to say, but if we can, um, it, it, well, before we close the hearing, in case there are any comments from um, DPW or the city or anything that we need to take into account that we might want to ask of the Valley CDC before we close the public hearing. Nathan? I, yes, but I have not received a, a DPW um, note on this matter. And uh, I think last one to the fence matter, um, as, as a president of the fence, the previous fence one also didn't really have any DPW concerns. So, um, okay. there so it sounds like nobody's got any real concerns about this on the part of the city. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to be, um, seems like a yeah, more straightforward pro project than other ones that's on the docket. Okay. Um, shall we have a motion? I, I'll move to close the public portion of our meeting. Sherry, would you like to second that? Uh, um, am I unmuted now? Excuse yes. me. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll second that. And I also have no questions. And I okay. reviewed the material. Okay, great. Do you want to do a roll call on closing the public hearing? Uh, Silver? Yes. Scanlon? Yes. Taylor? Yes. This is our opportunity to discuss the application. Um, I would merely say that I appreciate both of the parties and their um, their abilities to work this out together. Um, and I appreciate the amicability with which that's done. So thank you both for, for that. And, um, and I just wanted to uh, confirm that this will I and I, I do appreciate your comment about having some choice later on of the color and I think it was the color and 
the style, but it will be a cedar fence along the lines of what was in the photograph, which is a very lovely fence that um, <laughs> you, you gave us. So um, I just wanted to say thank you to the both of you for and anybody else that was involved in working this out. But is there any other discussion on the part of the board about this? I'll make a couple of, just a couple of comments. Um, I equally am appreciative of the, just the open line of communication that Valley has made with the abutter. And it's interesting that most of the abutting property to be developed is not like buildings right up against the property line. It only towards the back of the site plan does it look like it's up against a building. So so I I would just say to you the you know the neighbor you you probably are going to have a really positive experience because it's not going to be a, except I sympathize with your situation about the construction but once it's in you're going to have a lot of nice open sky in relation to where the building development is, you know, way set back close to what, I don't know what the name anymore. It was Cole Morgan, CEO, whatever, KEO, uh, three that, you know, that's where they're going to have buildings right up against it. So I think it's been done very responsibly and I appreciate seeing this. And if eight feet makes a big difference in terms of quality of life for you, I, I think you've, both have come to a really good point on this. I Thank guess you I very should... much for your comment. Mm -hmm. uh, can I type in at this point, Nathan? Is that yes? Awesome? Yeah. Um, uh, I just, I'm just so incredibly impressed about the way they, uh, essentially, the organization and the neighbor have come to um, just a um, what I see as a fabulous way of working together, and I'm very impressed with it. And if this helps him. Uh, um, you know, live his life next door to a fairly large development. I think it's wonderful. Do we have a motion on the application? Sure. I'll move to approve. Do we need to go back to the agenda to line up all of the wording? I'll I, move, I, I can. I, I, I'll move to approve the request for a special permit by Valley Community Development to install an eight foot tall fence at 23 Laurel Street, map ID 38A049 uh, with no special conditions. And with the understanding that uh, there may be some uh, further uh, possible need for flexibility on the treatment of the uh, colors, finishes, uh, but not to change the material or basic construct of the fence. Am I missing anything? I highly appreciate your opinion. Um, just one little correction. It's Laurel 21, it's not 23. <laughs> well, actually, I think I You're think the property in question is 23. Ah, no, oh, you mean you mean oh we're going to build yes yes, yes. right oh, sorry that's yeah. it's my, my <laughs> misunderstanding it's on my side missing i'm sorry <laughs> no, we're not relocating on, you yeah Let's from see, now on i slide it over to your side <laughs> yeah is there a second on the motion i second the motion okay roll call nathan Sorry, I got muted. That's right. By roll call, uh, Silver? Yes. Scanlon? Yes. Taylor? Yes. All right. You you are all set. And good luck with the project. Good luck to the both of you. And thank you again for working this out in such a constructive, friendly fashion. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Comments. We appreciate yeah, for, it. Yeah, for night. taking your time, for listening uh, to our request uh, to all members of the committee, to Nathan and, of course, to Laura. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. you. Too. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Bye now. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Um, I think we have some minutes to uh, review and approve. Uh, I think first of the minutes that Nathan went back to of April 13th and added in the conditions that we had included in our motion. So, do I have a motion to approve? 
They look good to me. I'll move to approve the minutes as uh, submitted now for the April 13th meeting. And I guess I second them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You're getting it. <laughs> okay. And by, uh, by, by, by roll call, um, yeah. Silver? Yes. Scanlon? Yes. Uh, Taylor? Yes. Okay, so approved. And then we have the minutes of June 8th. Um, do you have a motion? One thing I want to just quickly note is I think um, Elizabeth requested uh, the, you know, in that new, in that um, June one, um, I, I replaced people's last names and first names, but I went back to using people's last names. So I made that little change, but besides that, the minutes are gonna be identical. Okay. Motion? Sure, I'll move to approve these, the minutes for June 8th, our June 8th meeting. And I'll second them. And roll call? By roll call, um, Silver? Yes. Taylor? Yes. And Scanlon? Yes. It's great, I think. We can do a motion to adjourn after confirming our next meeting time. Yes. Um, I don't think you're ever going to get off this easy again, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> this Especially actually worked the, out really well for me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the next meeting. Uh, so well, we're on my drive. understanding. Um, just I'm going to kind of throw this out here. Uh, so um, now uh, Nathan has explained, I guess he spoke to Carolyn. I'm not quite sure. But uh, apparently I cannot be participant in that next meeting because I wasn't part of the original. Um, Nathan, can you explain that again? Yes. Um, you know, again, I, I talked with Carolyn, maybe might need reconfirming, but typically for these, typically for hearings, um, if you can miss up to one hearing, and then, you know, one hearing where the evidence is presented and then you can make up using the recordings and other materials. That's this the so-called Mullen rule. But uh, I, my understanding is this hearing had uh, two previous hearings. So um, I think, you know, because it's more than two that Sherry missed because she wasn't a zoning board member before, you know, before the you know, during the previous hearing. My understanding is just there's no way to make it up, make up. And if there is just one more one hearing that happened for this appeal, she if she decides to, you know, she can um, make up for it and participate in it as a zoning board member by looking at the materials. Um, I am but. You know, it's already, I guess, if, even if that is an applicable option, that is up to, you know, Sherry and uh, Sherry so to decide. What you're saying is Sherry yeah. can attend the meeting. Yeah, she can. Yeah. Which is uh, great. great. She right. can attend the meeting as a, like a general member of the public, but she cannot participate in the particular hearing, the, the appeal. Okay. And we are talking about the appeal scheduled for August 24th. So, you know, just for that particular matter on the table, that she will not be able to participate because of her absences because she was not a member at the time. Of course, she's sounds, welcome to attend. Attend. It sounds like I can comment like any public member would comment, but not as somebody who actually votes on this. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, public comment. Uh, you know, public comment as a general member of the public is allowed, but you know, some people choose not to. If they, you know, if they decide not to participate, they just completely stay out. But that's that's up to you. Um, so we're on for the twenty fourth at five thirty. Are we? Do we have any other matters that day as well? Not, yeah. not currently. So um, eight twenty fourth. So the next meeting will be uh, July twenty. Uh, forgive me, okay. August twenty fourth, and uh, we don't. Um, we don't have the one on August 10th, so there will be no hearing on August 10th, just August 24th. And uh, right now there hasn't, I mean, you know, already times passed for any new uh, applications uh, for that uh, August 24th hearing. So the only one oh, okay. is the, the only one is the appeal. And uh, um, as, as I think, as you know, it has some different materials, um, more stack of materials from its history. So I'll try to organize all that and share it with you before the hearing date. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much, Nathan. 
Um, is there anything else before I entertain a motion to adjourn? Any other questions or? Well, welcome, Sherry. We're delighted to have you. you. Absolutely. Enjoy Thank your vacation. You. And who wants Thank to you. do a motion to adjourn? Uh, I'll make the motion to adjourn. And I'll second. Okay, by, by roll call, uh, Silver? Yes. Scanlon? Yes. Taylor? Yes. All right. Very good. Thanks, everyone.